hello everyone welcome back so in this video we are going to see uh, a sign up example sign up and sign in example with the help of angular and spring boot backend so uh, yeah here i'm using angular uh, file and uh, no spring boot as a backend so uh, let's quickly run with a uh, uh, with a demo so i'm just going to register one user so let's say I'm just going to register one user here. So, uh, just my username is arnab@gmail.com. So I'm just uh, I'll add the date of joining. Tomorrow. So course is Bachelor of Engineering full time. So CSC aggregate is some 70 percent uh, start of you know uh, let's say 2013 completion year is uh, let's say 2000 17 July so this is uh, 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 yeah, here I'm just going to add this employee so we will see I will just log in with this no added example added username so my uh, employee successfully registered so here you can see this is just a JSON payload I'm just displaying so I will just uh, log out and try with the user so default password name I have given is ABCD so yes so now Arnab is successfully able to log in. So this is uh, uh, this is complete a registration process, and even we have seen the login process. So now let's uh, we will check with the, you know uh, from the coding perspective. Uh, in, in this first article, I mean in this in this first video we will see uh, uh, the registration process. So in in the next video I will just going to explain. You know how the login functionality I have implemented. So let's start with you know uh, the coding. So I'll just do some show. Yeah. So if you look at this application, here is the login. Uh, I have written some login component and login service. So let's start with you know login HTML. So here is my login form it's the same uh, with the help of form group so i'm just submitting username as well as uh, the password and i'm calling ng submit method that is nothing but authenticate user so in this authenticate user you can see authenticate user i'm just passing the data with the help of service i'm calling validate uh, validate user so validate user api where you know i am just passing this uh, data to the server called with this help of url this is a complete uh, server endpoint so you know the, uh, then i am just sending uh, the username and password so once i get you know the response from the server uh, once i get the response from the server i am just storing that response and I'm just you know storing the logged user uh, uh, logged user uh, just maintaining two local you know uh, local storage variable to you know uh, well I mean to just uh, just as a local storage so to check and once the uh, once the user logged out I will just going to clear this local storage so once the user is yet authenticated I'm just redirecting to the employee login page this is how I have implemented the uh, uh, login functionality the similarly the same you know register functionality so register is nothing but, i mean employee employee post functionality so if you look at this form we are having here employee form see this is the employee form so again i am sending the all the data with the help of employee form group like you know first name last name middle name uh, yes first name last name middle name all you know required qualifications and all so i am just forwarding this detail uh, uh, to the component with the help of uh, save employee so again if you look at my save component so 
this is again you know save component where uh, i'm just passing uh, uh, the employee details to my endpoint called save employee url so here you can just see the post of my uh, you know post of my post method of http model i'm just calling this for uh, inbuilt post method and just passing the uh, data to the server so now here uh, to uh, no, for registration and anyhow this will be a open url so no need to pass any tokens and all so this is all about the no, um, post so you can see my previous you know angular post get article so that you can have very much clear understanding on how to send the data to the uh, back end you will get a very clear cut idea so here i am not explaining in depth how the you know, endpoints are all going to work so i have already explained so this is all about the registration process okay so yes so now i will just quickly uh, yeah we have seen uh, no a simple de demo as well so this is all my ui code okay so nothing rocket science here so i will just show you uh, the back end code as well so you know i will just pause my video for for a second just to bring back uh, the back end code up so so before that you can just see here i am running all the my backend jar okay so yeah i will just uh, no, come back with the backend code so yes guys i have just started my ids so i will just go through uh, step by step what i have did in in a backend so here i am using just spring boot and you uh, know jpa uh, uh, to persist and to retrieve the data so this is my entity class guys so a very simple entity guys with uh, uh, i mean it's very simple entity class with some of the variables like first name last name middle name username and password so which i am you know uh, getting uh, which i have declared and you know qualification also as you've seen in that form qualifications also i, ha I am taking so uh, this is a uh, you know a sim very simple entity uh, employee class and if you look at my repository class so you ca here i am just finding uh, uh, by username and password uh, whoever is active so i am just getting that employee uh, as soon as uh, this is you know generally for uh, i am just using this method for login so get the user by username and password if i have any results so it can send or if there is a no result it will just send for not for not found so this is just a simple a very simple you know, repository class so in a service you can just see the service also i am just calling the same method there are some two three methods i am using so this save method for you know user registration and find to get all the list of employees and even you can see my implementation class very simple so just implemented you know, the employee service and uh, injected this employee repositories and just calling the inbuilt methods save find all save and this is a custom method which i have written i'm just for calling and passing the data so if you look at my you know employee controller class so this is just for uh, you know one yeah this is just for post employee where you know uh, generally we call it as a registration or uh, you know post method so i'm just storing the default uh, password a b c d so i'm just passing this uh, uh, whatever i'm getting as as a request body uh, the object the same object i'm just persisting and sending to the database with the help of service layer and you know if you see my authentication also so i'm just getting there some dto object uh, as a request body parameter so if you look at this there is only two variables here username and password which we are entering from the pa uh, form from the form so the same okay the same uh, you know i'm just checking uh, I, uh, for the null and you know just getting the uh, just try to look at into the database is there any uh, no uh, employee for for the uh, you know for the data so if it is found i'm just sending success and ret and returning the same you know object which i have got which i have got and if it is not there and it is just i am forwarding you know not found like that so this is very simple backend uh, code uh, i mean two apis which handling this entire concept so you know uh, so, uh, uh, yes so that that's all this is a very simple you know user registration or you know uh, and sign up uh, that is sign in example uh, so yeah this is at a very basic level so now uh, I, I will again you know try to post one more videos 
uh, you know with the help of OAuth token how to handle you know this sign up and sign in example with the help of OAuth token that also I will going to cover in future videos so yeah so I just covered both the things user registration and you know sign up uh, sign in uh, uh, login example in the in the same video I, I was just thinking to you know separate uh, registration and login but you know we have enough time so I have just covered both the articles in the, I mean both the videos in the I mean both the concept in the same video if you are having any questions I know uh, please do comment in the, in the video comment box and you will get you know uh, the source code URL in the same you you know video description so so that's all for now thank you